All right, guys. I am really sick. Um, really sick. <clears throat> Sorry, that was gross. Anyway, an opportunity arose for me yesterday. I could not pass up. I get a DM from someone I don't know, and they're like, hey, do you want a free ticket to the plant-based world expo tomorrow? And I'm like, that shit's $700. And they're just like, yeah, you wanna come? And I was like, yeah, sure. But yesterday I was like even more sick than today, so I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to make it. But here I am at Javits Center, um, not only am I sick, but I just realized I forgot my keys in the apartment. So I'm stuck here until my boyfriend comes back from work at least, uh, which is like 5 o'clock. And right now it is around 10 a.m. Now I'm actually pretty excited to be here because at a lot of like health expos and stuff, you can like make connections with brands and try a lot of new products and etc. 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 So it's really a good time. I also brought some business cards just in case I meet some cool people. And you know what? I'm looking forward to it. It sucks that. There's like 15 golf balls in my throat right now, but I still really wanted to be here. We're gonna head into Javits Center and do some exploring. I'm not the kind of person that really goes to like talks and stuff because I can't sit down for more than like 10 minutes. Uh, so we're mostly gonna be doing a lot of taste testing and mingling and just seeing what's new and I thought it'd be great to take you guys along with me. So thank you for Brooklyn who gave me this ticket. Uh, hopefully you get to meet her later in the vlog and let's just go see all they have to offer today. I'm pretty familiar with the Javits Center in general because my dad has a jewelry manufacturing company and uh, we come here often for shows and stuff. But I'm very rarely a show goer. I'm usually a show setter upper. Um, it's interesting seeing things from this side of the world. I think I know where we're going. I see the sign. Right there, Plan Based World Expo. The cool thing about this expo is I think it's the first ever, you know, fully plant-based expo. Times are changing, people. That is me, already registered. Did it last night. We're bringing everything plant-based under one roof. I wonder if I'll see anybody I know here. Like, as soon as I said that, some guy went up to me, he's like, Vegan Bodega Cat? And I'm just like, no, don't hug me. I am sick. Please don't hug me. Oh, by the way. I got my badge right here. And for some reason they gave me a clip on the badge and a clip on the lanyard, it doesn't make sense. All right, first off the bat, this butter is like freaking delicious. They don't sell to consumers yet though, but stay, stay on the watch for this shit. We're gonna try some chocolate milk from Planet Oat. Oh, that's delicious. All right, so Brooklyn just texted me and told me to meet up with her to say hi, because we've actually never met before, so I'm on my way to find her right now. Oh, I think that's her in the blue dress. Right there. So I'd like to introduce you to Good Catch. Good Catch makes fish-free tuna, and I've had their products before, but we're not going to tell them that, so just so I can have it again. This shit is actually made out of beans. All right, so I've heard of Dr. Prater's before, but I've never tried any of their products, so let's give a few a taste. Chicken nugget. All right, solid like seven and a half out of 10. I found Tavurki, my babies. They don't have any samples out yet though. Must have been all eaten up. Next up, next OG, Miyoko's. Uh, Miyoko herself is here, hiding right there. Um, everybody and their mother knows Miyoko says the shit, but I'm gonna take a sample anyway. I'm always like super suspicious with like jackfruit meat. Wow, my voice is cracked, but let's try it. Not bad, pretty mushy though. I like me some better texture. Okay, favorite product so far that I found today. Follow Your Heart has a dairy-free cream cheese and I never knew, um, and I just sampled it and I swear guys, it tastes almost exactly like Philadelphia cream cheese, which I was addicted to when I was younger. So this isn't, isn't gonna be good, I'm gonna steal another one. Thank you. And if you guys don't know, I did a taste test for their yogurts recently and they are also the bomb. I've been a little bit curious about these bacon chips lately, so we're gonna try them. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and try the original. So apparently Upton's has a mac and cheese. It doesn't look that good, but we're gonna try it. Either they didn't make it right at the show or it just tastes really bad. Upton's is great though, just not their mac and cheese. Roberto and I got handed one of these cookies at an event maybe like last year and I already know their chocolate sea salt cookie is the absolute bomb. Light life smells so good. I have to try the burger. You know what? It tastes like a sausage, 
but in a very delicious way, so like I'm not mad. Oh wow, let's try the actual sausage. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the sausage, kind of tastes really mushy. Alright, who could say no to a grilled cheese? This is from Good Planet Foods. No, that's really good. 9 out of 10. Definitely a 9 out of 10. Alright, another like huge favorite of mine is Calafia. They have amazing um, like coffees, cold brews, chocolate milk. So good. I'm not going to take a sample because I already know they're bomb. But this is a brand I've actually never seen before. Uncut. Oh, sounds slightly sexual, but okay. I don't see any samples out. Another pretty great product is Wayfair. They make really awesome butter. Um, they also, oh my god, did they like rebrand? I'm already a fan. Did you guys rebrand? Yeah, we're rebranding it right now. Oh, awesome. I was like, this doesn't look familiar. Their butter is really bomb. I have never tried their sour cream. Um, and their cheese dip is awesome in tofu scramble. Just trust me on this one. Oh, hi, Daya. Ooh, I'm gonna grab some ice cream. Okay, so we're already in the last aisle, um, which is pretty sucky because I have so much time to kill before my boyfriend can come home and let me into the house. <laughs> So I'm actually vlogging Mommy Tang, a little bit starstruck right now. Hi! <laughs> Guys, I'm pretty sure I just chatted with Mommy Tang while I had Light Life Sausage in my teeth. So, that's how my life is going. Let's head back to Uncut Protein. Um, where were they again? Ah, let's try a snack. A snacky snack. There we go. Oh. Thank you. All right, so I've already finished all of the expo. I might like give it one more walkthrough, maybe see if I can make some more connections. As far as new products that I'm excited about, like the top of the list is probably the cream cheese, the new one from Follow Your Heart. Everything else was like either I've tried it before or I already knew it was coming out, um, or it was just like good, not like amazing, you know what I mean? Not worth writing home about. But I'm really glad that an entirely plant-based expo like exists now. That's so amazing. And I'm actually meeting up with Brooklyn again. Maybe walk walk through it one more time with her or like go do something or find um, a speech to attend because I can't go home until like five because I don't have an apartment key. I want nothing more than to go home and pass out right now, but um, I can't because I don't have keys. So what's a girl to do right now? Come here, give me a hug. Come here, come here. Sweaty, Turn it out. Stink. Hi, stinky sweaty. He saved me. Alright, I'm right in front of Hudson Yards. I figure I might as well wrap up here. I got the keys for my boyfriend. I'm going home and knocking out. Ah, <sighs> that was a lot of fun. I'm hoping to go to one more expo this year, and if I do, then I'll definitely vlog it. I tried to vlog last year's uh, Expo East Expo, but I did a shitty job, and I only uploaded like the first half, and then I lost the rest of the footage. So if you go back and look, you could find like Expo Vlog Day One, and then that's it. Um, day two does just doesn't exist. Not much more to say. Is there anything you saw that you're excited about? Is there anything you saw that? you've tried before and are there any companies that you think I should work with in the future then let me know in the comment section down below I'm gonna call this day over like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day I'll put my Instagram right here and that's all I have for today I will talk to you next time goodbye a huge shout out to my bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Alex Creates, Maya, Michelle, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Lucia, and Laura Haynes. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are possible with your support.